It's been a long day. Before you knock out for the night, you remember to put your phone on a charger so you can wake up to a full battery tomorrow. The night passes, and the warm embrace of sunlight creeps through your window, and birds chirping opens your eyes. <laughs> Just kidding. You instead wake up to that all but pleasant sound of your alarm. It's a Monday, after all. You give one mighty stretch and like clockwork, you proceed to roll over to disable your alarm and go get ready for work, only to notice that unlike you, your phone fails to wake up. Hmm, that's weird, you think, as your phone never failed to wake up after a few lifting attempts. I mean, that's the entire point of the raise to wake feature, right? But no worries, it can be a bit finicky sometimes anyway. So then you proceed to tap on your screen to wake it up, and nothing. Tap, tap, tap. Every tap feels like a resuscitation attempt for the unconscious with the blaring alarm acting as a sort of flatline. Tap, 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 tap. Still, nothing. Still a completely black screen. But you have the iPhone 15 Pro, which has the always on display on by default. You shouldn't be seeing a black screen. What the hell's going on? And how can you get this damn alarm to stop? Wait, how, how did that happen? Then you realize that you hit the volume button during the aggravated panic. And that seemed to have turned off the alarm. You take a deep breath and quickly assess the facts. So the screen isn't turning on, but it's not dead because you left it on a charger before you went to bed and the charger was still plugged in when you woke up. Also, your alarm still went off. So your phone is definitely still working, but for some reason, the screen isn't. That's weird, you thought. You just got this phone a few weeks ago and you know for sure that you haven't dropped it. There's no use trying to figure it out on your own. That's what the internet is for after all, right? Your mandatory work meeting is starting soon, but that's okay. You can just multitask. So you open up your MacBook and attend the Zoom meeting. Ah, uh, there we go. Hello. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Hello. Hey. Hello. With the start of this work week, I want everyone to start over on all of their projects. Now that that's over with, you proceed to open up Safari to figure out what the issue with your phone might be. Ah, so there is a real issue. You're not the only one having this problem. Well, that's a relief, you guess. The black screen of death. You've heard that term before, but you figured it was only a rumor. Multiple reports of people's iPhones suddenly in a comatose-like state? That can't be. However, things get a little weirder because you don't see an official post by Apple addressing the issue. If this seems to be a recurring thing affecting numerous users, then why hasn't Apple said anything? you decide to look into it further and come across the post. I've had my iPhone 15 Pro Max less than a month, and this is the second time I've experienced the black screen of death. It normally happens possibly whilst charging my phone through the night. Come the morning, I'm faced with the issue. The buttons make sounds and vibrations as if the phone is on. However, I am unable to reset it or turn the phone off and on. The first time lasted a few hours into the morning where I would receive calls and notifications, but was unable to see or answer. That's more or less what happened to you. Though, leaving your ringer on before you go to bed, <laughs> rookie mistake. <laughs> what the, why did your alarm go off again? But then it hits you, hitting the power or volume buttons when the alarm is going off only puts it into snooze mode. The marked reply is saying to just reach out to Apple, but you think that's going to take too long and you would rather not have the annoying alarm surprise you every 10 minutes, so you decide to look further. But first, the meeting. What, what, what's going on? Ha 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 ha! I enjoy holding these mandatory meetings and wasting everyone's time. It's so- Uh, typical workday as usual. Anyway, you find out that the black screen of death seemed to be a problem even before the current iPhones, so you think that maybe a solution has been found for the previous iPhone models. And lo and behold, it turns out that there's a way to reset it and fix the issue. But before that, you suddenly get the urge to head over to Rotten Apple's YouTube channel to hit subscribe and the bell so that you'll never miss an upload. Weird. 
but back on track. It turns out that if you press the volume up button, then press the volume down button, followed by holding the sleep button, your iPhone restarts and works as well as you left it, including restoring the screen's display. Ah, <sighs> your phone is working again. What a relief. But what can be done to prevent this type of issue in the future, you're wondering? Well, Upon further research, you find out that the problem can be due to the iPhone acquiring some sort of bug due to overcharging, which causes the black screen of death to occur. So you think that maybe you should refrain from charging it overnight to prevent it from happening again since it's bad for your battery's health anyway. But doing the hard reset seems to do the trick in most cases if this problem seems to arise again. So all's well for now. But considering that the issue is going to be a problem until Apple themselves acknowledges and fixes it, it looks like any one of us can be the next victim of the black screen of death. Be sure to sleep with one eye open, for when you plug in your iPhone to charge, it could be the very last time you see your lock screen ever again. This has been Rotten Apple. Thanks for watching, and happy Halloween. I also learned that if you have the black screen in death, you can just ask Siri to like restart your phone and then like say restart again for confirmation and then it'll restart and then it should work. You're welcome.